Welcome to the online training, Removing Problematic Fluoride from Residential Wells. It is provided to you by the National Groundwater Association with support from the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. This training takes about 15 minutes. The time you invest in it could protect your drinking water quality and your health. Naturally occurring fluoride is present in the environment. Water dissolves fluoride compounds when it passes over or through soil and rocks, resulting in small amounts in virtually all water sources. Humans and animals use fluoride in the structure of their bones and teeth, and it reduces the formation of cavities in children. Excessive ingestion of fluoride can cause fluorosis, the discoloration of teeth and surface irregularities or in severe cases, bone disease. Is my private well at risk? The US EPA has set a maximum contaminant level of four milligrams per liter. Some people who drink water with fluoride in excess of four milligrams per liter over many years could get bone disease. The US EPA has set a non-enforceable secondary standard of 2 mg per liter to protect against dental fluorosis. Children under 9 years of age should not drink water that has more than 2 mg per liter of fluoride. Where are natural fluoride concentrations the greatest? In parts of Texas, Colorado, and the Dakotas, Elevated concentrations of fluoride greater than 0.5 mg per liter occur naturally. In a nationwide sampling, the U.S. Geological Survey found that 85% of residential wells tested below the U.S. EPA's maximum contaminant level of 4 mg per liter. How do I test for fluoride in my water? First, Use a certified drinking water testing laboratory for accurate results essential in getting appropriate water treatment technology, if necessary. Your county health department can help you find a list of testing labs. Another way to obtain a list is to contact your state lab certification officer by going to www.wellowner.org and clicking on the water testing tab. Question. Ingesting too much fluoride can cause fluorosis in adults and children, resulting in discoloration and surface irregularities in teeth. True or false? The answer is false. Children under 9 years of age should not consume too much fluoride in order to prevent fluorosis. The US EPA has set a standard of not more than 2 mg per liter in drinking water for children under the age of 9. However, it is important to note that some people, including adults who drink water with fluoride in excess of 4 mg per liter over many years, could get bone disease. Question. Naturally occurring fluoride is in virtually all water sources, so everyone faces the same potential risk. True or false? The answer is false. While fluoride is in virtually all water sources, its concentration in groundwater can vary depending on the composition of local soil and geology. That means some well owners may have a greater potential risk to health problems from fluoride than others. Question. Select the best answer. When looking for a home water treatment system for fluoride, 1. Having lab results is important. 2. Having lab results from a certified drinking water testing lab is important. 3. Getting a system that says it treats fluoride is important. 4. Getting a system that is certified by an independent product testing lab to treat fluoride is important. And five, 
getting results from a certified drinking water testing lab to match to a treatment system certified by an independent product testing lab is important? The answer is number five. Having accurate test results matched to a system certified as effective in removing fluoride is the best approach to protecting health. How can I reduce fluoride in my water to acceptable levels? Two possible options involve the well itself. One, a qualified water well system professional may be able to retrofit the well to block off fluoride producing water intake zones. And two, a new well that bypasses fluoride producing zones of groundwater also may be feasible. Other solutions involve water treatment, including reverse osmosis, ion exchange, and distillation. Reverse osmosis removes dissolved ions from water by forcing water through a semi-permeable membrane, retaining most ions while transmitting the water. RO units typically are installed at the point of use such as the kitchen sink, but can be installed where water enters the house. Ion exchange typically involves a physical chemical process in which water passes through a specialized resin, inducing an exchange of ions to achieve removal. Ion exchange treatment systems usually treat all the water coming into the house. Distillation involves evaporating water and condensing the vapor, requiring significant heat energy and cooling capacity. It is generally installed at the point where the water is used. Question. Installing a home water treatment system is the only way to ensure that drinking water from wells is safe from excessive fluoride. True or false? The answer is false. In some cases, a water well can be retrofitted to bypass zones producing water with problematic levels of fluoride. Other times, it may be possible to drill a new well into an aquifer with water that does not have problematic concentrations of fluoride. Question. Acceptable technologies for removing fluoride from water include 1. Carbon filtration 2. Oxidation and filtration 3. Ultraviolet light 4. Reverse osmosis 5. Ion exchange 6. Distillation and 7. Numbers 4 through 6. The answer is number 7 reverse osmosis, ion exchange, and distillation. Which technology is best for you can depend on the level of treatment you seek, cost, or both. Use certified water treatment products. Independent product testing lab certification verifies that a product works. Check the National Sanitation Foundation or the Water Quality Association. For more information about wells, visit www.wellowner.org to find out more about useful well owner tools, including a private well owner hotline, the monthly private well owner tip sheet, more online well owner lessons, and free well owner webinars. Don't forget to check wellowner.org for other online lessons if you have questions like, what should I test my water for? How should I maintain my well? How can I keep my water safe? What should I do if my well floods? How do I get water treatment? And what should I know about getting a new well?